Last night, I had a dream that I bought a boat and I was taking it down the river for the first time ever and I kept running into the rocks on the river on the bank. I kept hitting the bank. I couldn't get steering right. And then the throttle got stuck down and I couldn't get it to, I couldn't figure out how to turn it off and I ran up on the bank. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen because I did buy a boat yesterday and I'm going to pick it up today. I am a boat owner. Uh, I have three kayaks. I had one boat, when I was 19, I bought this little boat for $800. I took it out on the river a few times. I had a little motor. It's pretty similar to what I'm buying again now. I didn't know anything about it. I didn't want to spend the time on it. Now I think I'm ready to be a boat owner and to learn. I wanted to get a boat that'll get me just into it, that I can take a couple people out fishing if I want to. I can go out by myself, something that's not too big. It's kind of light. I can take it down a lot of those rivers I go. I can take it out in a lake. I can take it, you know, do the things that I want to do is explore little places, but also get into small areas, you know, similar to the way I do my kayak. Um, so I think I found a boat that will fit all these things. I have been looking and searching and going over Facebook and different places. And I've changed my mind seven times about which boat I want to get and going back and forth. That all of a sudden I looked on there like the day after Christmas or day, I think maybe Christmas day, I got on there, I saw this boat, saw the price, and I was like, that, that's that's the boat I want. So next day I called the guy, went down there and looked at it, bought it, I'm going back to pick it up today in the daylight. We're gonna pick it up, we're gonna take it to the river, hadn't had it on the river, and we're gonna go get a little overview on it. So I'm gonna go get it and get it hooked up first. All right, I have it, and here it is. We're gonna go look it over and then I'm gonna try to put it in the lake and test it out for the first time today. But first, let's just take a look and see what all I got. Nice, silver and blue. The paperwork says that this is a 15 foot, it's low and uh, aluminum boat, obviously. Um, very open space, 35 horsepower, two stroke. It is electric start. Um, we got some old gas cans. We got a bunch of wiring stuff everywhere. Uh, very open. This is actually a live well. Uh, I'll have to mess with that and see how that works. This is a 1983 model and in the post, it said it was a 1448, so I don't know if that's the same thing. Um, it does have this, I don't know what brand this is, foot controlled trolling motor um, and a seat and the deck's kind of low here, but kind of like that. I don't know. Well, I'll have to mess around. Got a lot of wiring and trash and just like things laying around that drive me crazy that I'll definitely have to clean up. But the first thing was to get it, try it out, see how everything works and um, just figure out the boat itself. Came with the trailer, also with a power pole. This is uh, some kind of power pole they rigged up. I'm not sure if I'll leave it on there or not. Also, it came with this Hummingbird uh, Helix 5. Not sure much about that. Never had one on anything, so I'll be fun to try it out. But check this out. It's got the throttle and the steering up here sitting on the front seat where you can run it from the front. Of course, the engine's in the back there. You don't have to sit in the back and run it there. I don't know if that'll be something that stays forever, but I'm going to try it out. We're going to see how it works. Everything's going to be a little test run today. This is kind of what I was looking for. I was looking for a boat, light, lightweight. It didn't necessarily have to be this old, but it has everything that I need that's supposed to work right. You know, to get it out on the water for $2,000, I'm really happy. I looked and looked. I watched in YouTube videos like crazy with tearing in little John boats and the bass boats and what can, you know, what kind of boat will do this, what kind of boat will do that. And the only way to really know is to get one and learn for yourself. And I was wanting a 14 footer. This is a, actually a 15 foot. So I was wanting something this size and that's capable of holding a couple of people. This actually can hold four people, it says on it. And also small enough where I can move it around. This is, you know, really lightweight, barely felt it, of course, behind my truck. It pulls it really easy. And I feel like I can get this in a lot of places. It's just gonna take some tweaking and learning and figuring out what I want on there, what I want out, cleaning everything up, having things set up the way I want to. And uh, I'm gonna throw a few fishing poles in here. We're gonna back it in the water for the first time. Just, I was very hesitant about buying a boat. I didn't, I wanted one, but I just didn't know that much about them. I've had over, I lost count, but over 75 vehicles that I have bought and sold in my life. I, I can buy a vehicle 
one day just see it and be like, this is how much it is. Okay, I'll buy it. Make a decision like that. Make a decision on a boat. It took me two months to buy this boat right here. But um, hopefully it's worth it, and hopefully I'm going to learn about it. And I, I and uh, well, let's get out in the water, and I'll probably talk more about it later. Well, today is not the day that I'm taking this boat out on the water. <laughs> I thought, I don't, even, I don't know what I was thinking. I was just ready. I forgot that he told me I need another battery. So there's a whole, like, need to be a battery just hooked up to the motor. So no wonder I could get to start. And then there's another battery hooked up. I thought he was telling me it was running the trolling motor, but I couldn't get anything to happen up there. Um, gas can leaks on the top. I don't know. There's obviously some things I need to get fixed. Also, the uh, trailer, let's see here. The trailer doesn't have any uh, chain on it to hook up there. These don't reach to my light hookup. Uh, so maybe I should like go over everything, take my time. I really want to just get out there and like run it around one time. But I, I this is this is part of the reason I didn't want to buy a used boat. But also it's just. It's easier to you know work on things, but I didn't want to have a project where I'm always working on something. But at the same time, I didn't want to go buy a, a really nice boat or something new where I'm paying a ton of money for it. So I got to get a battery. I got to check the wiring. I'm decent with wiring. I've did a lot of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go through and clean out and organize all this stuff probably before I take it back out. Make sure I can at least crank it, see if that turns on, try to figure out how to what's powering all that, go through these things, make sure I get the right battery. Let's do that, that's a good start. Um, and I'll probably just end this video showing you my boat that I almost, I, it was floating for a second. It, almost, it was almost out on the water. But um, I know a lot of y'all watch this and I've been doing this YouTube full time for two years, been making videos for five and a half, five years or so. And you know, it may be common sense for a lot of y'all just to say, just go buy stuff, go do stuff. This is what you do. It's still hard for me to let go. I still think I, I gotta go back to work, you know, doing heating and air. So I still have that in my back of my mind, but I'm trying to like go all in and commit to be like, you know what? I'm probably gonna do this fishing thing for a long time. Even if I don't do YouTube and I have to, I do have to go get a job. I'm still gonna want a boat and just want to grow and do more things. And I know you, you probably watch a lot of other channels like I do. And sometimes I look at other guys, I'm like, why don't they just do this? But, it, and, I, and I look at myself, I'm like, oh yeah, it's just, it's different. You know, we are doing this as a full-time job, it's, but it's, it's not a, uh, I just don't know, from month to month, I don't know what I'm gonna make. It's been pretty consistent for me, it's been really, I mean, pretty decent. Um, you know, I just did that trip to Florida and back, and you know, we was able to pay for that, and then had enough money to be able to buy this boat. And then, you know, things like that, but it's, at the same time, I don't know when that money can go away or something, so. It's like, I want to do these things for the YouTube channel, but this boat was not just for the YouTube, it was, it was for me, and it was for being able to me to take other people out, and I don't plan to make a million videos just on the boat. I'll probably have, a, I'll probably have, be able to, you know, go out fishing on it several times, just learning and not even make a video on it, or take people out and not make a video on it. Um, but then there's, there's five or six places that I have in my mind right now that I, that I really want to go to that, that takes this, and I want to make a video doing that, or, that's gonna allow me to make a, a more relaxed video, more comfortable video. There's, there's a couple of fish I wanna go for. One of them's big and one of them's small, but I wanna have this boat, something like this, to be able to set up, set my cameras up, and really target those fish. Thanks for watching, this is probably a crazy video. Um, supposedly you have to name a boat. I, I don't usually name things, but if you have any, any comments uh, on names, I will look through those, and I may have to kinda of just go through it, fix everything and then come up with some kind of name for it just to call it. But I, I'm excited about it. It's gonna be fun. I knew when I bought it for $2,000 for this, everything on here that it's not gonna be perfect and that there is some, gonna be some things I'm gonna have to fix and change, but also that's not so much money where if it breaks in half, I'm not losing so much. Um, but it's a good start too. So I, I, wanna, I wanted to learn more about boat, get into it, learn as much as I can. 
and uh, be more comfortable with it. That way I can upgrade in the future. Well, I guess I'll end this video out saying Happy New Year. Today is the first day of the new year and it's a really warm day out here. I uh, didn't do any fishing, but just did some stuff with family, got up late, you know, and did some, I'm doing some editing right now, trying to finish up this video. So yes, I have taken my boat out. Um, I have another video coming up on it and I've already caught some pretty good fish out of it. So uh, things are progressing with it. It does work, but I wanted to end that with a verse. 2 Corinthians 5 17 therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature old things are passed away behold all things are become new a new year starting out and uh, my encouragement would be to make sure Jesus is uh, your Lord and Savior and if you've done that you are a new person inside and it, that would be the best way I can think of to start out a new year if you haven't done that just uh, you can you know you can trust in him at any time and also if you're trying to get back into church just start visiting i know there's a lot of people still afraid of this covid thing but you know at some point um our church has been back to normal we just gotta be careful about you know shaking hands too much so like that but you have to get out there you have to you have to get in church to be able to learn and to grow as a christian and i'll hope you'll do that that's just my encouragement if you don't feel like doing it don't do it but that's just my advice for you today thanks for watching